Hey guys, welcome back to Embers and Ash. My name's Ashley, if you didn't know. Also, if you didn't know, I'm pregnant. I'm only five weeks pregnant, so like you can't, you can't see anything. But I have been craving decluttering my house because we are gonna be slowly getting new baby stuff over the next while and I need to make room for it, especially that we live in like a small place. So I'm really gonna try and focus on things that we use or we have potential to use now, but we won't be able to because we're gonna have a kid. So like hobbies that we do sporadically that will probably die out, get rid of those. I've also been meaning to clean out my kitchen for a long time, so that's gonna be fun. Yeah, and just make room for all the baby stuff and the, the spare room is obviously gonna be the nursery now, so we have to get some furniture out of there and put new furniture in so I just and I love decluttering right so I'm doing this at five weeks <laughs> so and I thought you guys might want to join so let's do it okay so <clears throat> wow I have a frog in my throat I just got up if you hear the washer going ignore it but this big chest here was where that dresser is now that's our baby dresser. So cute. So we're gonna get rid of this chest, but first I have to empty it out and see what we're getting rid of. So first off, I have these curtains, but in this house we don't have any like curtain rods. So they've just been sitting in here with no use. And they were really cheap from Ikea, so I'm just gonna get rid of them. Then we have our second set of sheets, which they, why am I out of breath? Which the idea is that we would put these on when we're washing the ones that are on the bed but honestly we just wash the ones on the bed before bedtime and then put them back on so I never really use the spare set of sheets so we're gonna get rid of those okay then I have this rug thing um, I'm gonna keep this because I think it'd be really cute to put the baby on so cute so this is staying and then I have this really thick wool blanket from my grandma which is really nice and warm but we just never use it because like Josh is a furnace so when I was single this was really nice but now I just don't get use of it so I think I'm gonna give it back to my mom and then finally I have one of these like large knitted blankets that my sister got me for my birthday and it's just a few years ago I think it's just too um snaggy that I never want to take it out so maybe I'll try and sell it or something. We'll see. She said it's okay that I get rid of it. Also, the lighting kind of sucks because it's a really dreary, rainy day outside. So this is what you get. So yeah, that's it. Empty, ready to go whenever we have the opportunity to get rid of it. Okay, so next up is the closet of clutter, which is where we keep all of our activities and just stuff we need which in a previous video I said we have everything we need or everything in here are things that we need and use but I think I can condense it more just because now that we're gonna have a baby we're gonna have less time for things so items that we are keeping because we have time I'm gonna get rid of so like we had a bunch of wood that um, we wanted to use for projects but we're not gonna have time to do that, so Josh already got rid of it and burnt it at a campfire. So, we'll see what I can get rid of in here. So, we have these two big sleeping bags, which are Josh's from when he was younger, I guess. And we've just never upgraded his sleeping bag, so he has this giant one for when it's cold and this not giant but still big one for when it's not super cold. <laughs> um, and I'm planning on getting him a sleeping bag for Christmas, a small compact one, so I think it's safe to get rid of these, which is really exciting because they take up so much room. So we have two blankets that are um, like waterproof on one side and nicer on the other side for like laying in the grass if the grass is a little wet. We don't need two, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is some beekeeping treatment. Um, it needs to stay in the freezer, so, and we don't have a big freezer, so maybe I can keep it in my mother-in-law's freezer, hopefully. So I used to do a lot of oil painting. Oh, I didn't paint this, if you're wondering. People always ask, I'm like, no. Um, I used to do a lot of oil painting, 
but I just haven't in so long and especially with a baby on the way it's not gonna happen so I'm gonna sell all my painting stuff it's so sad but I just don't I don't use it oh now I'm getting like anxious about that because you put a lot of money into something but I don't think it's worth it like I haven't painted in so long. I'm getting rid of it. I haven't painted in so long. So I think that's it for, for in there. Like I said, most of the stuff in here we do use. I'm just getting rid of the few things that I can get rid of. Welcome to the floor. These are my lower cupboards and I'm gonna be decluttering them. So exciting. So, this is the cupboard I'm most excited about. Why are you so far away? That's better, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm excited about this cupboard because this is where we put a lot of the random stuff that we got at the wedding and other things so crock pot we use all the time so that's staying this strainer i think i actually might want to get rid of it because we have a well maybe i shouldn't because my husband cooks more than me so i don't actually know what we use and what we don't use i know we have another strainer that's a circle but no i okay we'll keep this we're keeping that then we have all of these. Shh, quiet. We have all of these casserole dishes. Is that what you call them? We do not need this many. Like, I'm gonna minimize this for sure. Watering jug, gotta keep that for my plant babies. Cheese grater, gotta have that. This is a piece of Josh's dehydrator. The rest is in the dishwasher, and we're definitely not getting rid of that. Okay, so. We have these two Sesame Street. Um, one of them is a waffle iron and one is a grilled cheese maker. My mom gave them to Josh a couple years ago. I'm gonna get rid of them. Like, we don't need these. We, it's unnecessary. It's super cute and super fun, but like the amount of time that, times that we actually use it, right? Not very often. What is this? What is this? Oh, is this for our thing? I'm gonna put this in the get rid of pile and then see if Josh wants it. And we have all these. Why is everything so loud? We have all these things. I think we're gonna keep them. Cause I feel like eventually I'm gonna be like a mom who like makes, no, I'm never gonna be the mom who makes creme brulee, but I feel like I'm gonna want these in the future. So I'm gonna keep these. I don't need this because I don't bake. You see, now this is why this needs to be more organized. I have so many pie trays and I always buy a new set because I think I don't have any, which I only make pies for like Christmas and Thanksgiving and I'm not good at making them anyways, so like I should either stop trying or get better. But anyways, now I know I have so many of these. This is the strainer I was talking about. Why do we need two strainers? Maybe we do and I just don't know it. Salad dryer spinner. I'm going to keep this because um, I know Josh will be upset if I get rid of it, but I never dry my lettuce. I just wash it and shake it off and then use it. So, but I know Josh wants it. He gets upset when I don't actually dry the lettuce. Okay, so I think I'm going to wipe it down now and put back in what I'm keeping. Okay, we are on my counter now. And we're gonna clear out my like mug and cup cupboard. I'm gonna move this plant out of the way. So we have way too many mugs, which a lot of people do. And I'm ready to get rid of a bunch of, a bunch of them. So we're gonna have to narrow things down here. And I'm also gonna have to run these by Josh because he's just awake for the weekend, so I'm just making a pile and I'm gonna let him look through it and make sure he's okay with all this. But people get really sentimental about mugs, which I kinda get, but um, I want to get rid of these ones. We never, ever use them. This is my honey mug, and it's like the shape of a hexagon. It's so cute. I love this. We have these really cute British Columbia mugs that are staying for sure. We have a Hello Handsome, and here it is. Good morning, gorgeous mug um, from our wedding. 
I never use them. Josh always uses the Good Morning Gorgeous one. So I think we're gonna just keep that one. This mug is cute. I got it from the thrift store for like a dollar, but it was dumb. I have too many mugs. So I'm getting rid of this one because there's no sentimental value. I also got this guy at the thrift store. It is really cute. Okay, I'm keeping this one. I need to use it more often. These two are really sentimental to Josh and I. Um, we would always use them when we would have coffee at his place when we were dating, so these are staying for sure. This one my friend got me as a bridesmaid's gift, and it has a B on it, and it has B facts on the side. Honeybees fly around 15 miles per hour. So fun. And then there's a Canada one. This one's Josh's. I want to get rid of this, but I'll, like I said, I'll have to run it by him. I'm not going to buy any more mugs, okay? No more mugs. I have these shot glasses that are like a beaker and, oh my gosh, Erlenmeyer, Erlenmeyer flask. And I don't know what this one's called. I studied chemistry in university, so this was a really fun gift. But um, I don't take shots, so I'm getting rid of these. And I'm pregnant now, so. We do also have these really cute shot glasses that look like beer glasses. Is that what they look like? We're keeping these because like Josh will make himself mixed. Oh my gosh, I almost dropped one. Woo! Josh will make himself mixed drinks. Okay, so we went to Costa Rica for our honeymoon and I bought this mug thinking it was so cool because it's made out of wood and it has a sloth on it, but I never use it because I'm really scared of it breaking. Like, I think you can only use cold drinks in it or something. So I'm getting rid of it. I've never used it. And then these are our <laughs> turkey salt and pepper shakers. Uh, they were handed down from Josh's grandma and Josh really wants to keep them, so. And then we just have four wine glasses, very minimal. And then up top here we have some pewter. This is also handed down from Josh's grandma. And then just some spare plate symbols for if we have a lot of people over. Cool, I think I did really well in here. I'm very happy about that. Hello. <laughs> up next is the baking drawer. Here's the baking drawer. We use most of the things in here. Oh my goodness, it's not organized, how embarrassing. Okay, so, like I said, we use most of the things in here. Things we don't use. Um, egg separator thing. Um, we have three sets of measuring things. These ones I don't use, so those are gone. This one I use all the time. This one I don't understand, and I don't remember who got it for us. But it says tad, smidgen, pinch, and dash. Which is really cute and funny, but also that's not useful. <laughs> so I think I'm getting rid of them. I think, yeah. And then we also got these, uh, which I never use, so those are gone. Um, yeah, and then that's it. We use our measuring cups and these bowls all the time, the mixer, the emulsifier did I get that right I always forget what that's called so yeah that's all from there okay next up is this lovely closet it's our shoe closet etc feel like I might be able to get rid of some shoes and for sure there's some other things I know we're getting rid of so let's get to it I don't wear these anymore so those are gone I don't know why we have this really ugly umbrella I'm gonna get rid of this Oh, that's where all of our bags went. I've been looking for our bag of bags. <laughs> so the biggest thing in here I wanted to get rid of was Josh's golf clubs. He used to go a few times a year, but doesn't anymore. And it just takes up so much room. So I think we're gonna get rid of it. And then I'm gonna keep my softball gear. I'm not gonna play this year because I'm gonna be huge, but um, I'll probably play in the future again. Yeah, I think that's it for this closet. There's not much fun stuff in here anyways. Okay, so I think that that is it for everything that I wanna declutter. I'll show you how much stuff I'm getting rid of, which is really exciting. It's a lot of big things that take up space, which is the best. Um, I also transformed one of the cupboards in our kitchen into a spot for all of our beekeeping equipment, which I'll show you, which is so nice to have it out of the spare room closet and in its own little spot that's easily accessible. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm so excited to get huge and actually show you a pregnant belly. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed 
enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!